All right, Shalom Makim, first and foremost, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Give honors to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone, and honest to you brothers out there who are doing the work and the sincerity and the truth. This lesson, this life lesson is going to be uh, entitled The Nature of Demons. And the reason why is because we're going to deal with that in this truth, man. So, especially for you brothers new in the faith, you're going to have to understand really what you're up against, man. You know, and, and, and I can tell you, it ain't easy, all right? It ain't, it ain't no easy thing to deal with. Um, it's something you pretty much get used to. Uh, this is Luke chapter 11, verse 24. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. He saith, I will return unto my house whence I came, whence I came out. So he's talking about that same man. That's that unclean spirit. I'm going to return back to the same man. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So that's what the demons are trying to do to us, man. They're trying to find you empty. See, because right now, we threw off our old demons. You're supposed to throw off that old man. And your house, and you're supposed to become a new man. And that house is supposed to be filled with the spirit of the Lord, man. But if that demon, because these demons ain't going to leave you alone. So once they find out the spirit of the Lord is gone out that house, uh, they's coming in, man. They're going to have a house party in you, man. And they're going to make you more wicked than you was before. That's why a lot of guys who fall out, they end up talking about the earth is flat. Or you have a guy fall out because he bugged out about the tribe of Dan. Or you have a guy fall out over over uh, over the tribes. You know, talking about the northern tribes are not part of Israel, man. Well, the northern the Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos are not part of uh, uh, the tribes of Israel. Then he come to find out that he's a Reubenite, you know. <laughs> And now, now he won't root, but Reuben is though, you know, but really that's a demon. And what demons tend to do, man, demons will come on you when it comes to a woman, man. Demons are happening, uh, 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 what a demon will do, uh, it'll have you thinking that woman is all you got, man. And it ain't no other woman out there that'll treat you right, man, or put up with your shit. And the demon will tell you that, man. A demon will hop on a woman real quick and the demon will tell you that uh, you always think you're right and you don't ever check anybody but yourself. I mean, you, you can check anybody else, but you never uh, 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 check yourself. And you know, you'll have these demons speaking through her, but you have to realize that demons are going to hop through your woman to try to get to you, man. You know, and, and if the woman ain't right, you can always just get another woman. That's really how it worked, man. You know? So, and then you have demons that give you low self-esteem, man. You don't have a ruling class mentality. You have demons that make you impulsive or fast to wrath or will make you do some extreme shit, man. You know what I mean by extreme? You would do some shit you never thought that you'd do, man. You get real impulsive, man. You'll be... You know, next thing you know, you done smoke some weed. You know what I'm saying? Like you, or or you over there drinking lean, man, popping pills or something. And then and it's like those demons are hop on you. Uh, a lot of guys done fell victim to adultery. You know, all you have to do is obey the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and go through and live what he told us. The, uh, Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, for those who preach, I exhort those who, uh, or said I command those who preach of the gospel shall live of the gospel. So if you live in of the gospel and you have a broken contrite heart and you love the Lord with all your heart and soul, man, you're gonna be protected from this. But if you get caught slipping and you lackadaisy, you complacent, and you're not really a good brother, 
you don't come around and you're not really doing what the scriptures tell you to do, oh, those demons are going to, man, those demons are going to get your ass, man. Next thing you know, you're going to be texting the whole time while you're around the brothers, man. You're going to be at the camp in the back texting bitches, man. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to be looking in the sky and the spirit going to hop on you where you're like, man, I hope it rain, man, so we can leave early. I like, I hope it rain hard. You know what I'm saying? That spirit gonna hop on you when, when it rain and brother still keep going, you upset. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or you move to a different location to where the rain can't touch you, you upset. You know? Or you gotta get out in the cold, you getting upset, man. You know, and, and the word starts becoming a burden onto you. You start getting mad at the elders when they tell you, you gotta do two videos a week. That demon in your head gonna be like, Man, they don't know my situation. I got this going on, I got that going on. When you line your head up, when you uh, 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 shave your beard off, that demon gonna say, these brothers don't understand what's going on with me. They don't, they don't know my situation. They don't know I gotta shave my beard. You know? When really a brother just looking out for you, man. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's telling it how it is. You have an emotional demon on you. And I'm just naming these different demons, man. Um, you have an emotional demon. You know what an emotional demon does? An emotional demon is so emotional that if I, if a brother has it on him and another brother says, hey man, you being emotional, the emotional demon gets emotional. And then <laughs> he gets emotional about being called emotional. And then, he, then he'll say these words. See how I feel about it. And it's like, you see what I'm talking about? You ignoring the scriptures, you know? And you really have to get that emotional demon. That's one of the worst of them, man. That emotional demon, because you're getting offended at the word. You're getting offended at brothers, and you think you you start thinking in your head a brother is your enemy, man. A lot of a lot of guys, you get you get out of order. You start looking at your camp head like he ain't shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't right. You know, do the work, man. Nobody perfect, man. Nobody's perfect. So, you know, now you guys get that in your head and you and you fall, man, and you slip. Does not the scripture say, a just man falling for us seven times and get it back up, man? Does not the scripture say, a wise man know up when he's slipping? So doesn't that mean a wise man gonna slip? Doesn't that mean a just man gonna probably fuck up a lot of times, but he gonna keep coming back, man? But when you keep this in the proper perspective, man, you'll realize if you remember the scriptures and you live of it, none of these things will happen to you. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this scripture. I don't wanna go too long. This is Sirach chapter eight, and I'll start at verse 10. And these are kind of like guidelines, man, that I'm gonna read. And it's, it's, it's one of many, because they're all throughout the scriptures on how to live, man. Kindle not the coals of a sinner, lest thou be burnt with the flame of his fire. Rise not up in anger at the presence of an injurious person, lest he lie in wait to entrap thee in thy words. Lend not unto him that is mightier than thyself, for if thou lendest him, count it but lost. Be not surety above thy power, for if thou be surety, take care to pay it. Go not to law with the judge, for they will judge for him according to his honor. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee, for he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Strive not with an angry man, and go not with him into a solitary place, for blood is as nothing in his sight, and where there is no help, he will overthrow thee. Consult not with the fool, for he cannot keep counsel. Do no secret thing before a stranger, for thou knowest not what he will bring forth. Open not thine heart to every man, lest he requite thee with a shrewd turn. All right, now those are basics, man. In the scriptures where it's telling you, don't do it, man. So what you think gonna happen if you do it? You gonna have that demon over there like, oh shit, he fucked up now. If the spirit of the Lord is not protecting you at that moment, man, you know you're open, man. You're open if you do something like that, man. You're open if you start hanging to the wicked, man. You say to kindle not the coals of a sinner, man. You know? You say you would be burnt with his flame. You know? 
He say, don't give to a man mightier than thee, man. Count it but lost. So fuck hanging with these niggas, man. You know, and everything else that the scripture said. When you don't live that way, and that's just small examples just in this one chapter, the demons are gonna take you, and they're gonna fuck you up, man. And the Most High, he can bring you back, or he won't have to. But either way, you could be given over to some real demonic shit, man. You could be given over and, man, some shit happened, man, that where you just can't say shit to nobody else about, man. You're gonna be looking at your head like, man, man, fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and you twiddling your fingers and shit, y'all scared this, man. Why? Just do what the scriptures say, live that to the best of your ability. And Lord will you brothers was edified by this lesson, man. Because the nature of a demon is to take you out, man. And that's the end of it, man. It's to take you out, discourage you, make you hate yourself, make you hate the brothers, make you hate the truth, period, and, and gone, you know? And next thing you know, you by yourself, doing it on your own, man. Wishing that you never fucked up. And you know the reason you wish you never fucked up? It's because the demon done left now. He done did everything he needed to do. And that's, that's the truth of the matter. So Lord will you brothers was edified, man. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the ones to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Honest to you brothers who are out there teaching the work. I mean, teaching the word in sincerity and the truth. Death to America. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barak Thumb, Shalom.